Okay, so my box actually came a little bit easier, or sorry, earlier, earlier than I was thinking. Sorry, got a notification, had to clear that so that we can kind of keep it up. Um, kind of experimenting with weird ways to hold my phone up so that I can do the ads a little bit easier. Um, anyways. Sorry if I'm not being loud enough. I'm trying not to be screaming into the microphone. I live with a bunch of other people right now, so I'm trying to kind of stay a little bit quiet to be respectful. I'm wearing the same shirt. Like, are my PJs right now? I am not that lame that I'm wearing the same clothes every single day. Not that you were worried about it or judging me. Anyways, this time we're gonna open it together, and I'm using tweezers. <laughs> so anyways, this wasn't supposed to show up until tomorrow, but it showed up today and I was able to pick it up and get to getting. So couldn't wait. So now we open and this is going to be the next step up. So this is going to be the premium box or the lux. Oh golly. You know what? I'm really going to have to get this clear it's too late and I don't want to restart this video because I've already cut into that. I will clarify in the comments. It will be very clear which box this is. This is the $35 a month box. The one was in the video yesterday was the base box. That was $25 a month, including shipping. This one, I believe, if I am correct, is $25, including shipping. So, now, dun 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 dun. Oh, okay. Fun, 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 fun. Again, advertisement for that. And I'm not going to open the MRS for our PB just because I won't have fun first. So, I can already see very large things in here that I'm really excited about. So, this guy's humongous. It is 7.95 fluid ounces. And it is Chorus, which is a lovely brand, if you ask me. It is white grape from the vineyards of Santori, Raisin Blanc des... Nope, that's going to be where I stop because I just realized that that's in a different language. And it says the same thing. It is a body butter. Um, here it is. It's a big, 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 big guy. I'm gonna cheat. I am gonna look at the MSRP because I think that it would be kind of nice to tell you while I show you the product. So give me just a moment. I'm trying to open this little booklet that they give. Yeah, finally got it. Okay, so what we are looking at is $32 for this lovely guy, and just to show you, it comes factory sealed, so no smelling on this one. Not sure if I'm gonna keep this, not the hugest fan of body butter, probably might trade it for something else. However, it is Cora's. Might want to keep it just based on that. Now this one coming out. Oh, okay, I didn't realize we had all these fitting in here. So next, let's go with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. So, last month in the base box, I actually got um, the Watermelon Sleeping Mask, which was very exciting. It smells amazing. This is, again, the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist, which the MSRP on that is $28. And, ooh, can't really open it without cutting into the tape. So, we're going to go ahead and leave that. Closed, but I'll read you the description. The watermelon glow ultra fine mist is so delicate it envelopes skin. It envelops skin <laughs> like a morning fog. The formula is a blend of watermelon, hyaluronic acid, and hibiscus that refreshes and softens skin and enhances makeup. Awesome. So to use as a hydrating glow mist, um, you're basically going to keep it eight to ten inches away from the press nozzle and mist about two to three times across the face. Hold closer to face for maximum dewy effect used throughout the day. To use as a makeup prep and perfecting mist, um, again, about 8 to 10 inches away, firmly press the nozzle, mist 2 to 3 to refresh skin and set makeup. 
So it sounds like it's pretty much the same. Um, maybe it's just before and after is the difference. Um, but this is uh, 75 milliliters or 2.54 fluid ounces. And again, the MSRP on this is 28. And I'm probably going to keep this guy because it smells amazing. And who doesn't love Glow Rescue? And next we have Tarte Cosmetics. Double Duty Beauty Base Tape, Base Tape Hydrating Primer. So it's going to look like this. I don't even need to open the box. Bring it a little closer so it's just that clear color. Um, not even clear, like a white color, but obviously it's going to work for any skin tone. Um, what is my MSRP of 30? That is my mother-in-law's bird. Um, Phoebe, um, he likes to yell at the top of his lungs all the time. Um, so anyways, that is what this is. Um, 12 hour hydration, coconut infused, yum. Smooth appearance, extends wear foundation. This might be a keeper too, because I'm a big fan of primers. Next, we are looking at, this is... Fascia. It almost looks like Fakaka. I'm saying that wrong too. You know the bread? Probably not. Anyways, Fascia Skincare 24 Karat Gold Foil Moisturizer. The MS Park on this is $100. Um, this is a gold foil moisturizer. Um, it looks like it says this 24 karat gold foil moisturizing cream helps dry areas without leaving behind. Oh, sorry, dry areas disappear without leaving behind a greasy residue. Its unique formula helps reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and firms, tightens, and traps in moistures. Massage a small amount all over face and neck until fully absorbed. For best results, sorry, I am tongue tied. For best results, use morning and night. So again, the um, this is 50 grams. Doesn't say what that is equivalent to, and I do not have calculations on that for you as I just opened this box. Again, this is an MSRP of 100. Um, never heard of this brand before. Um, not sure if this is going to be worth trading or keeping, but I'll figure that one out. I love skincare. Um, this guy is. Hmm. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. I'm not a big fan of blush, so this one's probably going to go into the trade pile, definitely. Um, the MSRP on this is $40, and it is Diffused Heat is the color that we're looking at. Um, let's see if we can pull this up to show you guys. The brand on this is Hourglass, once again, and I guess the MSRP, if I haven't already mentioned, is $40. I think I did, but I'm getting a little... Lost with myself. The packaging on this is fun. It's beautiful, as you can see. Sorry, the production is a little hard, but I could open this bad boy up. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Look at that. That's fun. And it doesn't come with a puffer, but I do have those brushes that I got from the base box. So if you are getting multiple boxes, it's possible to really have everything you need because. I'm actually going to bring this up with another one of the items. Um, and I'm actually having a hard time remembering just what it was. But yeah, the brushes definitely would come in handy with this guy. From the base box to this. So if you got both boxes, you know, the brushes would flow nicely into this. And then also, um, what was there? Something else. I don't have the box nearby to really go next on that. And I have to pull it out. The next thing, and I'm a big fan of these, it's the last item in the box. So I'll remove the box because this is the one hiding at the bottom. Oh dear, 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 dear. I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so this is by a brand that I am not familiar with at all, which is fine. Um, it's all about pigmentation for me. If you couldn't have guessed it, it is a eyeshadow palette. It is an MSRP very low that is uh, $29 so that is the almost the cheapest item in this box um, the cheapest item was actually that glow recipe um, at 28 so I mean really close together I just want to point out that again I paid $35 for this box and just this alone is $100 um, and then if you want to add I mean 
140. 170. Do I need to keep going? Because there's three more I've left. You get my point. So, this is by Carity. It's the band, brand. And it's called Picante Palette. Picante as in, like, hot. Not very hot. Picante is like a mild heat, if I remember correctly. My Spanish is always getting forgotten. But anyways, the colors I'm really excited about. Let's hope for no breakage. Ooh. Okay, I'm keeping this because I, if you can't tell by the hair color, I'm a big fan of purples with my brown eyes and I have usually have like a tannish skin so I go for purples a lot because purple really brings out brown eyes a lot. Other colors that I really flow to is gonna be like golds and glittery, uh, whites, oranges, stuff like that. I like sunshiny bright tones and this whole palette, as you can see, I will hold it sideways, is full of very gorgeous, very sunshiny, and you're not even seeing the colors the way that they should be shown, um, but they're spectacular. I mean, starting from the top right corner, it's called Morning. And then we got Fahrenheit, and the bottom one is bittersweet, and about half of this palette is glitter infused. Um, and so, like I said, I'm gonna keep it, so we'll go ahead and we'll do a test of the pigmentation for y'all. And so, we'll get out that far. And I will just do a, let's do a random, let's do a glitter, let's do Fuego as a glitter. And we'll just, oh, I mean, it's still on my finger, and I mean, it's beautiful. You guys can't see the glitter just because of the way. Let's see if we can move this a little bit so maybe you can kind of see that glitter. I'm getting a little drowned out, but I mean, <laughs> a little weird camera angle. You can see my unicorn in the back. <laughs> but anyways, you can see that pigmentation. It's just gorgeous, and like I said, I ran that all the way through. And that was just one wipe. One wipe on the finger, and it's still really solidly on that finger. Um, and then I'll do a non powdered or a non um, <laughs> a non glittered one. We'll go with bittersweet because it's a nice solid brown. So that one's not as pigmented, but still pretty pigmented. I just did a rundown um, on my finger, as you can see. But that's with no primer. That's with no like preconceived notion of hey I'm gonna throw this on my finger um, again I think I'm really gonna keep this palette because I'm feeling these colors hardcore even the browns aren't so brown that it's like oh that's not gonna work for me so for you ladies with beautiful beautiful brown eyes that usually have that issue of oh nothing works for me or oh you know wish I had prettier eyes so that this would work for me better don't sell out on Boxy because they do do such a great, great job of sending variety. Um, and then again, um, in March, which is just next month, for $49.99, and this is every three months that Lux comes out, these are guaranteed to be in there. This is a Tarte palette that I'm pretty sure the retail, if I remember seeing it, for is about 60, 50, 60 bucks. That's the Remix pro, um, palette. This PMD, this is a facial brush, similar to, um, sorry, thoughts are not my strong point. I've had a migraine all day, sadly enough, but I really wanted to post this because I couldn't open it without sharing it. Basically, it's a facial brush that's made kind of with like the little silicone, spongilillos, so it's really easy to clean. It's not going to mold like some of the brush ones do. And I think the retail value on that, again, is up there, um, over 100 at least. And then the NARS lipstick is another one that's, I mean, probably MSRP on that, maybe 25 30 um, You're getting to get eight to nine items in that box for $50. And that's every three months. And again, this one alone is like 50 bucks. This guy's over 100. Sorry to flip you off. That was unintentional. Or was it? In one of those moods. This is just three of the items. There is at least five or six more. 
So, yeah. I will once again throw my referral code underneath. Um, I am getting that Lux box in March and I am more than willing to share it with you guys. I will unbox it with y'all. Um, so I will do a quick throw together. I will throw them all together and I will show you guys everything as it were. Um, let me just toss everything together. Um, so I don't know who's watching as far as what your experience with prescription boxes are or is um if you're looking to get started if you've had bad experiences in the past and you're looking to maybe give it a try again if you're totally sold off because of the bad experiences you've had if you know i don't know what the circumstance is for you and it looks like they put a false bottom on this so bear with me just a moment longer Bottom out. What do you know? We have a lot more room in our box. <laughs> Which is cool because I'm gonna pull this out so you guys can see everything that I got in this in this box. And again, this is the $35 a month box, so this isn't the Lux. I don't remember exactly what the name on this is, but as promised, I will get that before um, concluding this video as far as um, submitting it. So you guys will be able to read that in the comments below. Um, and then, yeah, so here's that box all put together. Sorry for the wonky camera angles, but so you can see that is everything. And that was $35 is what I paid for this. And as you can see, there's definitely the value there. So I really want to thank you for anybody or to anybody who took the time to watch this video with me today. And, you know, I really look forward to seeing you guys in the future and hearing any comments that you have, whether it is a commentation on what I could do better, or what you liked, or what you'd like to see, or pretty much anything. Feel free to leave it down below. Um, I will leave my referral code. It would be great if you did that. I don't get much more than just some points. Um, but again, it's always nice to be able to receive credit where credit's due. Um, and so, yeah, if you would take the time to even just throw a like on the video, if you took the time to watch it, I'd much appreciate it. Um, love you guys for, for taking the time. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.